Take a look. In the eerie blue light of his secret lab, one of the world's most controversial scientists shows off his creation, cloned human embryos that are genetic carbon copies of their father. Oh, my babies are doing well. They look beautiful. Filmed for a TV documentary, Dr. Paniotis Zavos implants 11 of the embryos in four women, one of them British, in the hope of producing the first cloned human being. The procedure is a criminal offence in the UK, but not in this undisclosed Middle Eastern country. I think we have three very good embryos that could be in utero today, and that if implantation is successful as well, and the pregnancy is maintained, as we say in the US, we have a home run. Dr. Zavos also reveals he's produced cloned embryos from three dead people, including Katie, who died in a car crash. He injected her DNA into a cow egg, though he hasn't implanted the animal-human hybrid. British scientists have condemned his work as reckless. Cloning of animals such as Dolly has shown the technique carries risks of severe congenital abnormalities. I find it A, incredible, and B, disgusting because he's sowing false hope to begin with. So the individuals who are involved in this experiment, and that's what it is, an experiment, may well not realize that the outcome is almost certainly going to be negative. Um, and to put couples through that, in my opinion, is unethical. Dr. Zavos adapted a standard cloning technique for his human patients. He first took an egg from the mother and stripped out the nucleus containing 99.9% .9 of her DNA. He then took a skin cell from the father and extracted the genetic material. That was injected into the empty egg and given a jolt of electricity to form a cloned embryo. Within a matter of days, the embryo would have grown into a ball of 32 cells, which Dr. Zavos implanted into the mother's womb. So far, none of the attempts has led to a viable pregnancy, but this infertile Canadian doctor, who wants to remain anonymous, says the technique is his only hope of having a child. Pretty much decided that uh, probably I would be the first one to be cloned, but then, you know, if it worked, then we might go on to have another child. Despite almost universal condemnation, Dr. Zavos has vowed to continue his work. He says more than a hundred patients have contacted him in the hope of having a cloned baby. Thomas Moore, Sky News.